on the way to Flatwellies. Me and AJ Cut and Zara have been chatting over social and we're just intrigued to what we both do and whatnot and I was asking him about his coaching and whatnot and he's kindly invited me down to give him a little hand, um, do some demonstrating on my bike, have a bit of fun. I don't know, I'm running out rapid. Amy, stop ruining my kit in the washing machine, please. Thank you guys for coming. I flew in last night, didn't sleep at all. Uh, anybody here watch the YouTube videos or seen any of my stuff online kind of have a little bit of a head start as far as that goes. Anybody here inside of the Moto Academy app and do the training online? Wow, that's amazing, that's awesome. So we're gonna have Luke Burton uh, helping out today as well. He has his bike, but you'll have two instructors to be able to not only teach you how to do it, right, but to go out there and demonstrate as well. And what's nice about the technique that I teach and the guys that I work with, like Sexton, Jet, Hunter, Lawrence, they're all rising to the top and they do it all in the same way, sort of. When you watch Jet, Hunter, Sexton, Roxon, when you watch them ride, it's a common theme of they make it look easy. First impressions, seems pretty sound, laid back. Exactly the same as myself, really, though. Not very pushy with the training, more of a take your time so you pick it up kind of vibe, and that's exactly how it should be, do you know what I mean? You can't never learn anything on these bikes if you're riding it 100%. Do a big skid, slip a few gears, and hopefully we'll look half decent. <laughs> First laps, back well here. Here we go, going over this double. Nice jump, that. This is a perfect training track. Really. Yeah, come in, I'll follow you around for a lap. That's the store, mate. but real good fun. Yeah, real good fun, yeah. Loving it, loving it. Someone's cared herself on the double straight away. This position is really kind of like the foundation of all of that. A lot of riders are guilty of doing this because it's sort of the lazy way of doing it. It's the more maybe easy way to get to the levers and the controls. We really should be trying to grip that bike almost entirely from our belly button down. And if our knees are out, anytime he goes to hinge, the knees are just gonna jet away from the bike. benefit obviously from keeping the, the knees in the right position, mainly concentrating on keeping the knee behind the toe is going to weight the bike correctly when you're braking. It's crucial that you keep the brake pedal at the right height as well because if you're overreaching for the brake pedal your knee is naturally going to go forward, you're just going to weight the front end too much and you're never going to get the correct angle to get into the, to the corner. Setting off for our first drill which is standing only on the balls of our feet in the right position. And have a look at some riders doing it now, so you can pick up on anything. People are dodging the ruts because they're finding it difficult to um, to approach the corner standing. They're used to sitting down after the riders. So following this rider here on the Honda, he's on the he's on the balls of the seat. He's kind of over exaggerating it, which is which is not a bad thing. But his knees are too far forward. He needs to get his knees behind his toes. So he's waiting more centre to the rear of the bike. But his feet are good. Look at his feet. Knees are better going through there. So when you do get on the ballsy feet, if you can drop the heel like he's doing here, it's a good thing. Anytime you get on the throttle, lead with the head. Over exaggerated. If you ask what distance should we be looking in front of the bike in a straightaway, shoot, you can be looking super, super far ahead at times. I mean, you can look a football field ahead at times, or at least reference that far ahead if you want to. The further ahead you look, the better your balance is going to be. The more you look at the floor, the heavier you're going to be working on their uh, sections now so uh, standing feet on the pegs pretty much what I do with all my my riders it's mad because he's, he's explaining stuff the same as what I would be in a different kind of way you didn't all notice he lent his head to help him turn in instead of having to put the foot out he lent his head in Wait the bike in the rut uh, with feet on the pegs 
only. Remember, we don't turn the motorcycle by steering the bars, we turn it by leaning. Stand up with the one hand. Every time you give it a smooth throttle, smooth acceleration, just get your head forward. You could put the hand right next to the handlebar, but just not on it. So keep it nice and tight between your knees. That's it. It's gonna get shimmied all the way off That's the back it. of the bike. The key to a rut that has good hold like this is not use the clutch, not use the rear brake, but we can use the front brake ever so slightly to help guide the front tire through the corner. Good, so we timed this sitting right about here. The idea is to try and keep the bike at that same lean angle the whole time. Be delicate with this rut though. It's soft enough where if you plow it or you get too much lean angle, it will cave over on itself. So he tried to sit earlier, but look at the rut fell over on itself. So when that happened, it wanted to tug him down inside of the bike. So I've already had some nervous folks as far as jumping goes. Remember, the jumping drill, the technique that I will teach as far as soaking up an obstacle is the same technique you would use to jump this far as you would to jump 150 feet. And the same technique would be applied for that jump as it would this one, which is get the speed ahead of time, so much so that you can almost coast the entire jump face and still have the momentum to get the distance that you want. Yeah, he landed front tire first, just a little bit. So that's a scrub. And the reason the scrub turns into a whip is because it's a big enough jump to where the movement has to be done sort of slowly so the bike can go out slow and come back slow. If you did the twitch too quick on that long of a jump, the bike would actually do this. It would go out and then it would float back the opposite direction. I know we're all here to have fun, but improving in a smart way makes it more enjoyable. If you guys want consistent training, it's actually a perfect situation. You have Luke that lives somewhat nearby, at least in the country. Uh, you guys can train with him if you haven't already. He, very, he rides very similar to me. It sounds like he coaches very similar to me as well. So he would be a safe bet. I know we're all here to have fun. I'll say it again and again, but we have to be safe because these bikes can get you hurt quickly if we're not smart about it.